Greetings everyone and welcome back to Bugs in Biology. In today's video I am accompanied by this absolutely gorgeous spider. This is an adult female Trichonephila plumipes. plumipes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that I'll be honest. And what an amazing spider it is. Let's take a closer look. Come on move around a bit. That's it, that's a good girl, don't be shy. want to move somewhere where there's better lighting. This species belongs to a subfamily of spiders known as the Nephilinae or golden orb weavers. So named because of the distinctive golden sheen of their webs. The webs of these spiders are not only spectacular in appearance, but they are also among the strongest of any spider. The strength of their silk is second only to that of Chirostris darwini, an African spider that was described in 2009. Here you can see one that has ensnared an invasive Apis mellifera, or European honeybee, within its magnificent web. I'd also like to add that this video perfectly exemplifies why it is an absolute nightmare to film orb weavers on a windy day. I know the quality of the film isn't great, but maybe you can understand the struggles of getting my camera to focus while the wind was blowing the spider back and forth. Now of course one question that you might understandably be wondering about is, are these spiders dangerous? And the answer to that is, well, absolutely not. They are incredibly passive, very very shy, and their venom is really weak as well. So not only would you have to be doing something incredibly stupid to make one of these amazing spiders bite you, but even if it did, honestly the consequences are going to be pretty minimal anyway. Like all spiders, golden orb weavers attempt to avoid human contact at all costs. Although I do come to question exactly how good they are at doing that. Recently I went on a run, wasn't quite looking where I was going, and copped one of these beauties right on my face. Needless to say, the spider didn't react aggressively whatsoever. Maybe she knew it was her own damn fault for spinning her web right across a path. But all jokes aside, these spiders really are just gentle giants. My oh my, you are absolutely gorgeous and a little bit clumsy. Yes, these spiders, they're very clumsy outside their webs. Absolutely formidable predators inside their webs, very few animals can touch them. But outside their webs, they're extremely vulnerable. Take a look at that. Inside its web, a golden orb weaver is elegant, fearsome and virtually unassailable to most predators. But outside of its web, it's kind of like a funnel web in a bowl. Yes, I know this video is about a completely different spider, but if you thought I wouldn't find an opportunity to roast my funnel webs, you'd be wrong. Australia is home to three species of golden orb weaver. This species, which is Trichonephila plumipes, as well as Trichonephila edulis and Nephila pilipes. All three of them can be found in southeastern Queensland, but Nephilopilipes is not very abundant here at all and is most prolific further north. While I do know that the species has been recorded in my area a couple of times, I have never seen one myself. But it is definitely a bucket list species for me, as they are absolutely spectacular. Nephilopilipes is the biggest orb weaving spider in Australia and the second biggest in the world, behind the African species Nephilocomaci. 
Trichonephila edulis, on the other hand, is quite common here, and is often found living alongside Trichonephila plumipes. It can be readily distinguished from Trichonephila plumipes by its comparatively subdued coloration, being more greyish in colour and lacking the distinctive yellow bands on its legs. Not only are Trichonephila plumipes and Trichonephila edulis sympatric across part of their ranges, but they can often be found living in very close proximity to one another. Here you can see an individual of each species who are basically next door neighbours. In fact, the webs of the two spiders are joined together. Construction of webs both adjacent to or even conjoining with one another is fairly commonplace in golden orb weavers, both between conspecifics and allospecifics, with the former meaning others of the same species and the latter meaning different species. Occasionally, large numbers of webs are constructed connected to one another like this, forming immense colonies that I can only imagine would present a major hazard to flying insects. Though for me they are just the perfect thing to lie down and relax under, goes without saying not many other people seem to be all too keen on joining me. Golden orb weavers, or orb weavers in general to be honest, are honestly also my top recommendation of spiders to work with if one is attempting to combat an irrational fear. Because quite simply they just don't tend to display most of the things that people fear about spiders. People are often uncomfortable around spiders due to their fast and sometimes erratic movements, and perhaps their tendency to suddenly disappear so you may not know where they are. Orb weavers don't really exhibit any of these behaviours. They sit in one spot basically 24-7, and their movements, at least when they're outside of their webs, are comically clumsy. This also won't be the last you'll be seeing of golden orb weavers on my channel. A while ago, uh, everyone's favourite drama queen, posted his own video of a golden orb weaver where he greatly exaggerated the dangers it posed. I plan on responding to that video in my usual fashion, but in addition to that I also intend on filming myself getting bitten by one of these spiders somewhere further down the line. So I guess you can stay tuned for that. Well that's that for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did then feel free to check out some of my other uploads and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you very much for watching, that is it from me and I shall see you again very soon.